Elden Ring has several overlapping systems by which you can upgrade your character, and Shadow of the Erd Tree adds one more, Skardu Tree Fragments. Collect these fragments scattered across the Land of Shadow, and you can spend them to upgrade your Skardu Tree Blessing at any site of grace, permanently upgrading your attack damage and damage negation, but only within the Land of Shadow. Some Skardu Tree Fragments are easily found, because they're right next to Mikola's Crosses and Sites of Grace, but others are far further afield and require some serious exploration to discover. So, come with us as we detail the locations of all 50 Skardu Tree Fragments in Shadow of the Erd Tree, so you can reach the maximum Skardu Tree Blessing level of 20. Fair warning, we will be showing parts of almost every area of the DLC in this video, from core content, to side areas, to end game gauntlets. So, if you're spoiler averse, maybe come back once you've spent some time with the DLC. The first Skardu Tree Fragment is in plain sight, a short ride from where you begin the DLC. Head north from the gravesite plain sight of grace, and where the two large roads intersect, you'll find the three path cross site of grace, so named for the nearby Mikola's cross. Next to the cross is the Skardu Tree Fragment. Skardu Tree Fragment number two is dropped by a pot shadow enemy in a graveyard, northeast of the scorched ruins in the center of the gravesite plain. The graveyard rests against the cliff wall on the eastern edge of the plain, and it's fairly easy to spot. If the pot shadow disappears before you kill it, then reload the area and try again until it drops the Skardu Tree Fragment. For the next fragments, follow the main path south through Gravesite Plain, and a short distance after the Scorched Ruins it will curve around to the left. At the very end of the road is the Church of Consolation, guarded by a hammer-wielding Mesmer Knight. At the base of the statue in this church, you can pick up two Skardu Tree Fragments at once. Skardu Tree Fragment number 5 can be picked up at the main gate cross site of Grace. This Grace and its cross is clearly visible as you take the west path up the stairs towards Bellarat from the three path cross where you picked up your first Skardu Tree Fragment. Number 6 is an easy one to miss. From the main gate cross site of Grace outside Bellarat, head south and follow the path atop the cliff to get to Cliff Road Terminus. From there, Prospect Town is right in front of you, but you should head around the right hand side until you reach a graveyard on a hill overlooking the town. There you'll find another Pot Shadow who drops a Skardu Tree Fragment on death. The seventh Skardu Tree Fragment in Gravesite Plain is located in the encampment between the Great Bridge and Castle Ensis. From the three path cross, head northeast across the bridge. Watch for the ballista at the end, and once on the other side, you'll see a Skardu Tree Fragment at the base of a statue on the right hand side of the path as you enter the encampment. Fragment number eight is located next to the Pillar Path Cross which is also where you meet Tiolier for the first time. To reach this cross, take the southeast path up the hill from the castle front site of Grace in front of Castle Ensis. Then turn off the path to the left just after the point where the three guards are camping. At the end of this secondary path is the Pillar Path Cross and the eighth Skardu Tree Fragment. Moving on to the next area, and there's only a single Mikola's Cross inside Ballarat Tower Settlement. To get there, start at the small private altar grace, then head up both sets of stairs, past the Horn Scent Knight, and turn right. Follow this path, then turn right at the top of the waterfall. Ascend the ladder, go up the stairs, then turn left and head straight on. Just before the doorway guarded by tiny spider scorpions, turn right and jump over the ruins on the floor. Follow this path here and you'll reach a room with the Mikola's Cross and Skardu Tree Fragment number 9. Just like Bellarat, there is only a single Skardu Tree Fragment located inside of Castle Ensis, and it's very hard to miss. It's right next to the Castle Ensis checkpoint side of Grace, which is signposted by another Mikola's Cross. It's on the main path through Castle Ensis. Skardu Tree Fragment number 11 is found in the Cerulean Coast. To get to the Cerulean Coast, it's actually a bit of a trip. Start from the castle front site of Grace, then proceed southeast past the battling enemies down the hill. 
Keep travelling downhill until you reach a pond with crabs, then turn to the south and ride past this Miranda Bloom. Get the nearby Grace, then ride out into Alak River. Follow the water downstream and carefully descend alongside the waterfalls. Eventually, once you descend the last waterfall, you'll see a furnace golem in the distance. Just past this golem is the entrance to the Cerulean Coast. Once you're there, you pretty much just need to head straight south, past the lakes and some potential dragon attacks, and follow the path as it curves left along the coast. You'll soon see the location of this scarred tree fragment at the end of the path, marked by the cross by the Cerulean Coast Cross Site of Grace. The other fragment in the Cerulean Coast can be found near the Cerulean Coast West Site of Grace. From there, take the north path just past the giant piece of ruin nearby. Take a left turn at the Demi-Human Swordsman, and just on the right near some exploding ghost worm thingies, you'll see a small cave entrance. Inside is a Demi-Human Chief guarding the 12th Skardu Tree Fragment. There's one Skardu Tree Fragment inside the underground Stone Coffin Fisher subregion. To enter this zone, approach the southernmost tip of the coast until you see this gigantic hole in the ground. Descend carefully along the inner edge via these ledges until you enter the fissure. Once you're there, follow the main path until you reach the Fisher Cross Site of Grace. The Scarlet Tree Fragment is right next to it. This next fragment is in Karo's Hidden Grave, which takes a similar amount of time to get to as our Cerulean Coast Fragments did. Starting from the same castle front site of Grace, take the southeast path out of the camp, but this time veer to the left and go uphill, following the main path until you find the Pillar Path Waypoint site of Grace. You'll most likely hear Egon screaming as you approach. Take the path to the right the same way Egon is facing, and keep going until you're invaded by Ancient Dragon Man. Defeat him, and go just a bit further to find the Dragon's Pit dungeon. Complete this dungeon, and proceed out the back door that unlocks into the foot of the Jagged Peak. Ride to the nearby lake, then take the path to the south until you get to the gigantic deceased dragon. Then proceed to the west along its body until you reach the crimson fields of Karo's Hidden Grave. Once you're there, hug the left hand side of the region and keep riding until you see a big Miranda flower. Jump up onto the ledge behind it, and ahead you should see a small lake guarded by a hippopotamus. Kill the hippo, and it will reward you with a Skardu Tree Fragment. There's a single Skardu Tree Fragment in the Jagged Peak region, which we can reach by going north from the same lake where we went south before. The fragment lies along the path from the foot of the Jagged Peak, and the Jagged Peak mounted side, Sites of Grace. Specifically, beyond the Spirit Springs past the Dueling Dragons, when you get to the path with the endless rolling boulders that you need to avoid, the Skardu Tree Fragment is at the base of the cliff below where the boulders first spawn. Our next region is Skardu Altus, which has the highest density of Skardu Tree Fragments in Shadow of the Erd Tree. The first is impossible to miss, it's next to the High Road Cross just beyond Castle Ensis, where you meet Leda and the Horn Scent once again. Skardu Tree Fragment number 17 is found north of High Road Cross at the very start of the encampment. Follow the main road north, and the Skardu Tree Fragment can be looted beneath a statue a few steps into the camp, past the three soldiers that are guarding the front entrance. To the northwest of the High Road Cross Site of Grace, on top of a hill, you'll see the Church of the Crusade. Inside, you'll find another two Skardu Tree Fragments at the base of the statue, though you'll also be invaded by Fire Knight Queeline when you enter the church, so be prepared for an NPC fight. Directly east of the High Road Cross Site of Grace, down the cliff, there's a small Mesmer soldier camp by the road. The 20th Skardu Tree Fragment can be picked up at the foot of a statue in the centre of this small camp. Skardu Tree Fragment number 21 is right next to the Morth Ruins Cross Site of Grace, just a few steps from the previous fragment to the east. This fragment is on the northwest side of Morth Ruins, and you'll also meet Dryleaf Dane, who is waiting at the cross. Skardu Tree Fragment number 22 is also found on the outskirts of Morth Ruins. 
circle around to the southeast side and you'll see a pot shadow enemy on a ledge looking over the ruins. Be careful because this seemingly helpless enemy is watched over by a curse blade, which jumps in to attack you. Dispatch it and then loot the Skardu Tree fragment from the dead pot shadow. This next fragment is found next to Skardu View Cross, which overlooks the Fort of Reprimand on the southernmost edge of Skardu Altus. To get there, ride south from Morth Ruins and follow the main road past where the Ghost Flame Dragon is fighting the Mesmer soldiers, and turn left just before the overpass. There's a spirit spring by the edge of the cliff, but it's sealed until you break the associated stones nearby. Those stones can be found just past the spirit spring around the corner of the cliff edge, guarded by a bunch of bats. Jump up to the top using the released spirit spring, and follow the path to the cross to get the next Skardu Tree Fragment. To get the next fragment in this area, head to the small body of water to the north of Morth Ruins. On the north side where the lake meets the wall, you'll see a cave mouth with a statue of Marika in front of it. At the base of the statue is the Skardu Tree Fragment. This next fragment is number 25 and the official halfway mark of this guide. This is the only Rao based fragment that is in the base region of Rao. Head forward from the fragment we just collected north of Morth Ruins and through the caves until you see a swamp in front of you. In the swamp, head to the north and then to the west as that direction opens up to you. Past the swamp, you'll enter the Rao base region. Once you've reached the ancient ruins base, Site of Grace, head southwest until you reach the Temple Town ruins. From the map marker at the entrance to the town, head all the way to the south side of the ruins, and then enter the hole in the wall. Parkour up to the ledge in front of you, and then you can either drop down to enter this area or use Torrent to jump in to collect this Skardu Tree Fragment. Our next region is the Shadow Keep. The first two Shadow Fragments found in this massive legacy dungeon are dropped by the Golden Hippopotamus boss in the main plaza, just beyond the entrance elevator. The next Skardu Tree Fragment is found at the fourth floor cross in the Specimen Storehouse. From the Specimen Storehouse Grace, push through the crowded bookshelves until you climb up two sets of stairs. Then walk around the left side of the raised balcony areas and jump up to the feet of the human-like statue. Run across it and then jump to the nearby balcony to access this fragment and the site of Grace. You can also reach this Grace by descending from a path along the outside of the Shadowkeep's walls. This next fragment is impossible to miss. As you open the door to the dark chamber of the Shadow Keep where you fight the main boss, the Skardu Tree Fragment is right in front of you. Skardu Tree Fragment number 30 is located atop a statue in the Sunken Chapel, which is in the Church District of Shadow Keep. To reach the Church District, you need to enter via the North Path from the Church District High Road. If you don't know how to get there, Drop down the hole in Morth Ruins and follow the path through to Bonnie Village, then travel north. Once you're inside the church district, jump across the rooftops to reach the sunken chapel, and then jump onto the statue's arm to loot the Skardu Tree Fragment. This next Skardu Tree Fragment can only be accessed via the loft of the specimen storehouse, which you can access from the cathedral district entrance to the storehouse. From the church district, find the elevator that takes you into the storehouse. Then climb the very tall ladder and work your way around the outside of the area until you reach the storehouse loft site of grace. Then work your way through the rafters to the ledge on the north side of the room. Then take two elevators down to reach the shadow keep back gate site of grace. At the end of the room next to this grace is America statue with the Skardu tree fragment at its base. Returning to Skardu Altus now, these next three fragments are not obtainable until you've used the hidden Shadowkeep path to reach the Castle Watering Hole site of Grace. To do this, head to the rampart covered in burning boats, and then find the ladder on the north side fence that takes you down to the river below. Hop in the nearby coffin, and you'll arrive in a new part of Skardu Altus. Head to the south of the lake for the Recluse's River Upstream Grace, and then make your way down the path to the base of the waterfall and loot the Skardu Tree Fragment from the Empty Stone Coffin. 
Again, following on from the castle watering hole Grace, head all the way south and just beyond the recluse's river downstream Grace, you could use the ledges on the cliffside to make your way down to the lake below. There should be a hippopotamus right in front of you once you're down there who will drop a Skardu tree fragment once defeated. Surprise, there's actually two hippopotamus enemies in this lake. So take out the next one while you're down here for a second Skardu tree fragment. And this wraps up all of the fragments available within Skardu Altus. Approach the southern edge of the area surrounding the Hippo Lake and you can descend these gravestones to the entrance of the Darklight Catacombs. Defeating this dungeon will bring you out into the Abyssal Woods. From the Forsaken Graveyard, which is the first site of Grace in the Abyssal Woods, follow the path directly south, hugging the left wall as you go. You'll need to sneak past an untouchable enemy or two to get there, but you'll soon see the church ruins in the southeast corner of the region. Inside, you can loot two Skardu tree fragments at the base of the statue. From the Woodland Trail site of Grace in the Abyssal Woods, head west until you reach the Abyssal Woods Grace. After that, follow the path north and you'll find Skardu tree fragment number 37 on a cross-legged corpse at the base of a tree. Our next fragments are in the upper region of the Rao Ancient Ruins, which is accessible only via a bridge coming from Shadow Keep. You access this exit from Shadow Keep by going to the west from the storehouse specimen first floor side of Grace and then descending via the lift there. Once you've made it to the Ancient Ruins, take the right hand path and enter the ruins on your right towards the end of the path. Make your way down the ruins and you'll emerge to see Mikola's Cross right in front of you, which will be defended by a Crucible Knight. The Scarlet Tree Fragment is right here. Back in the ruins that brought you to Mikola's Cross, go past the first Spirit Spring on the lowest level and use the second Spirit Spring to jump up to the top. In front of you there should be a Pot Shadow to kill for another Skardu Tree Fragment. Skardu Fragment number 40 is obtained by defeating yet another Hippopotamus. To reach this one's location, head back into the ruins from the Rao Ancient Ruins Cross and go back up the Spirit Spring Jump. Once you're past these double doors, head through the hatch in the wall on your right and head through the Spider Scorpion Room. Take the next left, and then the next right, and you'll emerge outside. Keep moving forward and then jump off the far edge. After that you can head down the steps on your right to face the hippopotamus carrying your Skardu tree fragment. To reach number 41, cross the bridge from the Mikola's Cross and head past the Furnace Golem, or kill it, I'm not the boss of you, to reach the Rao Ancient Ruins, west site of Grace. Make your way through the ruins in front of this Grace, and at the top of the stairs in the large pillared room is a pot shadow that you can kill for the Skardu Tree Fragment. Our next fragments are located in Skardu View. To get there, start at the Shadow Keep back gate site of Grace, then exit outside and defeat Commander Gaius. Then follow the path west into Skardu View itself. Head north, just past the gigantic monument, and you'll find five Skardu Tree fragments just in front of the Skardu Tree Chalice. These final four fragments are in the final area of the game, so spoiler warning for you all if you really don't want to see some late game stuff here. The Spiral Rise Cross is impossible to miss in Aenea Ilum, as it's along the main path to the final boss. Once you get there, you can loot the Skardu Tree Fragment from next to the cross. This Skardu Tree Fragment is technically in Bellarat, but to avoid confusion I'm putting it in the Aenea Ilum section because you can only access it from Aenea Ilum. Just before the Spiral Rise Cross site of Grace, turn right at the position of the Kneeling Horn Scent Priest and go down the staircase on the right hand side. At the bottom, jump off the broken ledge and onto the staircase below. Go to the far right side of the small circular room and drop onto the ledge below, then follow the ledges all the way
and then you'll need to do this scary jump into the windowsill, which allows you to drop into an area of Bellarat with a tall draped statue. At the base of the statue is Skardu Tree Fragment number 48. Now back to the Spiral Rise Cross site of Grace, head up the stairs and onto the rooftops. Once you're past the Grave Birds, head up the stairs and ascend to the top of the tower. Once at the top, head inside the tower and you'll find the Skardu Tree Fragment in front of a small altar. The 50th and final Skardu Tree Fragment in the game is thankfully very easy. It's right next to the Cleansing Chamber Anti-Room Site of Grace, so you could pick it up right before you face one of the final bosses in the DLC. This should have you at the max Skardu Tree Blessing level of 20 if you got every other fragment before this one. And that's that! Now armed with every fragment and blessing in the DLC, your character should be roughly double the power that you were before you had any blessings. Use this new power wisely. For more on Shadow of the Earth Tree, check out our build guides or this handy video for finding every map fragment, as well as our ever-expanding wiki. For all other things Elden Ring, gaming and more, stick with IGN.